It is not without reason that St. Petersburg has been called the Venice of the North. Water surface comprises about 7% of the total area of St. Petersburg. There are 93 rivers, 20 canals and more than 100 ponds and lakes in the city. Admiring the glamour of St. Petersburg, we are surprised by the fact that the city, which has witnessed so many historical events, is actually very young. St. Petersburg is a unique city. It appeared at the will of Peter the Great. Its location has not been chosen on chance. Peter the Great conceived the city to be a window to Europe, as he sought for an access to the sea. The spot in the near mouth seemed ideal to him, and after capturing the Swedish fortress Nienschans, Peter the Great decided to build a city on this site. The granite pier at the near bank is unique. Sphinxes found during excavations in Thebes, the capital of ancient Egypt, are mounted on massive granite pedestals. The first permanent bridge across the Nida River bears the name of Lieutenant Schmidt the hero of the first Russian Revolution. It is one of the most beautiful bridges in the world. It is mounted on seven granite abutments. By the bank of Vasilevsky Island was put up a remarkable mechanism for raising a part of the bridge to allow the passage of large ships. The main facade of the building of the Academy of Arts overlooks the Niva River. The Academy of the Three Noble Arts, painting, sculpture and architecture was founded by the initiative of the great Russian scientist Mikhail Lomonosov and Ivan Shuvalov. constructed for Alexander Menshikov, the Tsar's closest companion in arms, became the first large stone building in the city. It stands out sharply with its luxurious decoration. In 1731, the palace was given over to the military college best known under its later name, the First Cadet Corps. The twin buildings of the Senate and Synod were the highest state institutions of the Tsarist Russia. Nowadays, the archives of different ministries and departments are kept here. The monument to Peter the Great, known as the Bronze Horseman, has long been one of the symbols of St. Petersburg. The history of its creation is unusual. The sculpture, Etienne Maurice Falconet, made a life-size model of the equestrian statue. Founding nearly ended up in a tragedy, then molten copper started to flow out of the form. At the risk of his life, the founder Hylov finished the work. The huge boulder, the Thunderstone, was found near St. Petersburg. Shipping the monolith weighing 160 tons was a very difficult business which was marked with a special medal. The Kunstkammer is one of the most interesting monuments of architecture of early Baroque. Before the construction works were completed, Peter the Great has moved his collection of monsters and rarities here.
the Admiralty building faces Vanilla with the side pavilions. At the time when the Admiralty shipyard existed, there were kennels, docks and stocks between the pavilions. In the center of the main building, there is a tall tower of 72 meters high, topped by a spire and a ship whale vane. The ship became a symbol of the city, standing at the Baltic threshold. The Admiralty was laid out as a shipyard in 1704, but later it became a fortress with five bystones surrounded with moats. The present building, the third in a row, was constructed according to the design of the architect Zaharov. In 1871, in front of the Admiralty was built a fountain. In the square by the fountain stands the bust of Glinka, Gogol and Lermontov. The palace pier is located near the palace bridge by the eastern pavilion of the Admiralty. The palace bridge connects Vasilevsky Island with the palace embankment. It was the first of the Nether bridges, that's why it was initially called the Nevsky Bridge. For the first time, the bridge was mounted in 1728 and pedestrians and drivers were charged for passage. During the navigation period, the bridge is raised to allow ships to pass up and down the Neva. The speed of Vasilevsky Island is the focus of the panoramic view of the Neva. For 150-100 years, starting from 1730s, there was the St. Petersburg trade port here. The building of the stock exchange is the kernel of the speed. At the sides of the square, rise two massive columns, which served as lighthouses by the entrance to the port. The shafts of the columns are adorned with rostra or rows of ships, that's why the columns are called the rostral columns. At the feet of the columns are placed sculptures personifying the Russian rivers Volga, Niva, Volkhov and Dnepr. It became a tradition to light the bright torches at the top of the columns on holidays. Between the palace and Trinity bridges is situated Palace Square. The Winter Palace was built the fifth in a row. It took into its ensemble the former Apraxin and Kikin mansions and was finally rebuilt according to the design of the Great Australian. At the neither side, the Parade Jordan entrance is located. It is the main entrance into the largest country's art museum, the State Hermitage. The building was given over to the museum in 1922.
The railings were mounted in 1901 according to the design of Melsen. They were made of cast iron, the eagles and monogram were gilded, the work costing more than 1 million rubles. Nowadays, above the railings shine golden, double-headed Byzantine eagles, the symbol of Russia's might and glory. In the center of Palace Square rises the Alexander Column, made to the design of Auguste Montferran. The figure of angel crowns the column. The total height of the column is 47.5 meters. On the pedestal are figures personifying the Wiesland Norman rivers. The monument and the arch of the General Staff Building are dedicated to the victory of the Russian people in the war against Napoleon. The triumphal arch of the General Staff Building connects the main city square with Nesky Prospect. The triumphal car tops the arch of the General Staff Building. Wearers are depicted on the arch facades. Across the Winter Canal is the Hermitage Theatre, built by the architect Quarengi. The Winter Canal is spanned by a gallery arch leading to the theatre. Opposite to the Hermitage is the Peter and Paul Fortress. The fortress is situated on the small Hair Island, washed by the waters of the Nila and Kronvik Strait. In the center of the fortress, the wooden church was built. First was raised by a multi-tiered belt fry with a high spire. The spire is topped by a wealth vane in the form of the flying angel with a cross. The fortress was laid out on the 16th of May, 1703. In the construction of the fortress, all new fortification inventions were taken into account. The first wooden fortress was built in the form of hexagon, with bastions put forward. The Trinity Bridge, an outstanding example of engineering, was constructed to the design of the French construction company Batinon.
Its construction was completed by prominent Russian architects and engineers. Over 60 years, the Trinity Bridge remains the largest in St. Petersburg. Rising above the tree crowns are the minarets and domes of the mosque. The ancient Gur Emir mausoleum in Samarkand served as one of the prototypes for the edifice. The Upper Swan Bridge leads to the Summer Gardens. In the early 18th century, the Summer Gardens were the place where the aristocracy went to stroll. Ordinary people were not allowed in. In 1920s, American businessmen offered 100 locomotives for the railing of the Summer Gardens, one of the world's best examples of artistic metal works. At the source of the Balshaya Nevka stands the legendary Aurora Cruiser. The armored warship was built at the new Admiralty shipyard and had its first naval battle at Tsushima. On the 25th of October 1917, the warship fired a shot, which was a single to start the storm of the Winter Palace. Nowadays, a branch of the Central Navy Museum is situated here. The Litany Foundry Bridge is the second oldest and the first steel bridge in the city. The builders faced tough challenges here. The depth of the Niva is between 50 and 20 meters and the soil is heterogeneous. In every link of the cast iron railing are depicted mermaids holding the ancient coats of arms of St. Petersburg, a shield with crossed angels and a scepter under a crown. The Litany Bridge is the first river crossing in the world that was lit with electricity. One of the main city square bears the name of Vladimir Ilyich Lenin. In the center of the Green Park, on the ground-built platform, is mounted a monument to the revolutionary leader. The austere buildings of the Finland railway station brought up the composition. The clock tower is topped by a traditional St. Petersburg spire. The Christie crosses holding cell was built by the architect Tomishka on the Ancinalne embankment in 1890. Earlier, there had been wine cellars here. They were converted into prison cells and later tore down and replaced with a new building. The overpass by the Litany Bridge connects the Kutuzov embankment with the Robespierre embankment, which was previously called the Voskresensk embankment. At the spot 
historically called Palustrava, which means swamp in Latin, at the territory of the Kushalevo Bisbarotka Mencio, a spa was built. This terrain was rich with iron mineral sources. In front of the building is a two-tiered stone terrace pier with a grotta. The Bolshochtinsky bridge is very different from the other bridges across the river. Its 136 meters high spans are covered with huge arc gilders, which allow passage in the bottom, unlike the Trinity Bridge, for example. Antanka used to be a very important city thoroughfare. Its embankments are connected with important historical events and the life of prominent Russian statesmen. Pantanka struts from the Neva and flows into it again by the Gulf of Finland. Pantanka got its present name because of the fountain tubes it was spanned by. The tubes ran water from the Ligovsky Canal to the fountains of the summer gardens. Here, at the Fontanka sources, is situated the summer gardens where the palace of Peter the Great was built. The first Mansory bridge across the Fontanka spanned the start of the river in 1769. It became known as the Laundry Bridge because of the laundry located on the left bank. In the place of the coffee house pavilion was a grotto built by the architect Matanovi. Peter the Great dreamt of the garden better than a Versailles. Rare trees, flowers and marble sculptures were delivered from all over the world to furnish the garden. The St. Paitelemon Bridge was constructed in 1920s for the design of Bazen. In the early 20th century, it was rebuilt and decorated with the armory. Chizik Wizik, an 11 cm statue of Siskin, was installed near the summer garden in 1994 on the site of the former Imperial Legal Academy, founded by Prince Peter Oldenburski in 1835. The Academy's students wore green and yellow uniforms that apparently made them look like Siskins. Their habitual, clandestine visits to a well-known local hostelry led to the Petersburg folk song Chizik Pizik, where have you been? On Fantanka, drinking vodka. Nearby rises one of the most beautiful buildings in St. Petersburg, the Engineer's Castle, named by the will of Peter I, the Mikhailovsky Castle, in honor of Archangel Mikhail. Secret passageways, ramp arts and canals with drawn bridges seem to be a safe defense from an attempt upon Pavel's life. Alongside with the southern facade was dug the church canal. It connected the Moika with the Voskresensky canal. Parade square in front of the facade was also surrounded by canals. Later, all these canals were filled with sand. In the early 18th century, in the place of the circus was the elephant yard. In the square in front of the circus is situated the Belinsky Bridge. Earlier it was called the Semenovsky Bridge after the neighboring church. On the bridge abutments were built granite towers, later they were dismounted. 
In front of the circus is a tenement house. Earlier, in its place was a palace of the nobleman Narifkin. In the background is a wonderful monument of mid-18th century Russian architecture, the famous Fontanka House. The arch of the granite gate is crowned with the coat of arms of the owner, the Sherimetev Counts. The Anichkov Bridge across the Fontanka was built in 1726. The cast iron railings with depictions of mermaids and seahorses I a copy of the railings of the bridge across the Spree River in the center of Berlin. In 1841, the bridge was decorated with the first of equestrian group by Peter Klot. The owners of the palace, Bielasielski Bielazerski, were rich and famous. The family had their origin in the great prince of Kiev, Vladimir Monomakh. Next is the building of the Mayakovsky Library. The building, put up in 1910-12 by the architect Fyodor Lidval for Count Mikhail Tolstoy, is a splendid example of Art Nouveau. The granite pavilions of the Lomonosov Bridge are topped by domes, which make the construction exceptionally picturesque. Inside these granite towers was the mechanism of the draw meat part of the wooden bridge. In 1911, this part was replaced with metal beams and stubble flooring. Lomonosov Square, at the north end of the bridge, is part of an architectural ensemble created by Carlo Rossi. The Lennestad building is known as the Press House. You can see the Tostanogov Bolshoi Theater. Nowadays, it is one of the most popular drama theater in St. Petersburg. In 1870s, in this place was a theater built to the design of the architect Fontaine. In front of the theater, the Fontanka is spent by the Leshtokov Bridge. Its name retains the distorted surname of the Empress Lizelaveta's doctor, Leshtok, who owned the parcel of land on the opposite bank of the Fontanka. Where the Fontanka embankment meets Garochova Street is situated the Semenovsky Bridge, named after the Semenovsky Regiment, which was quartered nearby. The bridge was mounted in granite like the Lomonosov bridge with a wooden draw part in the middle. For a time, the Fontanka was the southern boundary of St. Petersburg. The forest on its banks was a shelter for robbers. In 1780s, its banks were faced with granite and prop embankments were laid out to the design of the German engineer Ball invited by Catherine the Great.
The old Kalinkin Bridge, situated near the Fontanka mouth, served to communication purposes. In the 18th and 19th centuries, the road to Peterhof started from here. The fairly narrow river Moika winds smoothly through the central part of St. Petersburg. In the upper part of the river is spanned by the first engineer's bridge. It was constructed to the design of the engineer Pierre Bazin when the Mikhailovsky castle acquired its present name, the engineer's castle. The bridge does not have embankments. It stands on the granite sides of the embankment. The first engineer's bridge is decorated with shields with depictions of Medusa Gorgon. On the left bank of the Moiker rises the engineer's castle. The castle was a residence to Pilot I only for 40 days. On the 11th of March 1801, he was murdered by the conspirators here. Nearby, the Moika is spanned by the stone Sadovi bridge. The bridge was reconstructed and the brick arch was replaced with metal forms. It was decorated with Latin pillars and cast iron railings with round shields and crossed spears. The Mikhailovsky garden stretches out on 10 hectares. At the site of the garden, approximately at the spot where now stands the pavilion pier, at the early 18th century was a wooden palace of Peter's wife Ekaterina. The pavilion pier was built by Carlo Rossi in 1825. At this spot, the northern part of the Grybayedov Canal joins the Moika. It is the former Kanyushane Canal, which was dug for melioration. Rising here are the 80 meters high domes and crosses of our Savior on the spilled blood. The temple was built as a memorial church on the spot where Imperial Alexander II was fatally wounded in a bomb attack by revolutionary terrorists of the People's Will Organization. Next to the church is located a highly unusual construction, the composition of bridges across the Moika and Grybayedov Canal with three spans and one embutment in the middle. It is barely the only composition of that kind in the world. This original joint consists of two bridges, the Malakanyushani and Theater bridges. The composition was designed by Igor Adam and Georg Treta. The Bolshoi Kanyushani Bridge was initially called the Greek Bridge, after the Greek district, the old site of the Moika embankment. The first bridge was made of wood. The present one was built to the design of Yegor Adam.
The Winter Quellen was dug when the first and second winter palaces had been constructed. From the bank of the Winter Canal, the gallery's arch leading to the theatre looks like a sort of frame for a picturesque view of the Niva and Pitt and Paul fortress. The Singer's Bridge is 72 meters wide and serves as a sort of visual continuation of Palace Square. The railings are of exceptionally beautiful ironwork, resembling the finest lace. The bridge was called after the neighboring Singer's Chapel. In the past, the four bridges across Moika had colored names. The yellow, now singers, green, now peoples, red and blue bridges. Only the two later preserved their original names. The people's bridge at the time it was called the Police Bridge, even earlier the Green Bridge, it was constructed as a wooden drawbridge in 1717 and acquired its first name after the neighboring police station. Later, when the bridge was reconstructed, it was enlarged and decorated with gilded iron chandeliers and hexagon glass lanterns hung to them. Rising at the corner of Nevsky Prospect and the Moiko Embankment is the Stroganov Palace, designed by the great architect Rastrelli. Stroganov was a well-educated patron of the arts and remained in favor with the four monarchs, Elizaveta Petrovna, Catherine the Great, Pavel I and Alexander I. Lying on the axis of Garochova, across the Moika, is the Red Bridge. Its name goes back to the past when its place was a wooden bridge painted red. In 1810s, the engineer Gesta built a once spent cast iron bridge of the same construction with the People's and Singers bridges. In the place of this building was situated a two-storied house of the Deminov industrialists, where the English club moved in 1830. The southern part of St. Isaac Square is covered by the widest city's bridge, the Blue Bridge of 99.95 meters wide. Before 1818, there was a three-span bridge on wooden embutments on this spot. Later, it was made a one-span bridge of the green and red bridges type. And then it was completed with new arches. That's how the bridge got its present width. Because of its width, the blue bridge seems to be an extension of St. Isaac Square.
close by, on the right bank of the Moika, is a granite pillar, recording water levels that is crowned by Neptune's trident. Bronze ribbons mark the level of water during floods in St. Petersburg. The most terrible flood struck the city on the 19th of November 1924. Water rose up to 410 centimeters. St. Isaac's Cathedral, a grandiose construction of late classical architecture, was named after Isaac of Dalmatia because Peter was born on that saint's feast day. The first wooden church on this site was founded in 1710. The cathedral we see today was built between 1818 and 1858 to the design of French architect Auguste Monferrand. Under the each of the column was put a silver rubble, and under the main column is a platinum medal with the depiction of Nicholas I. About 100 kg of pure gold was used up for gilding the dome. The 101.5 meters high gilded cross is 30 meters higher than the Admiralty Spire and only 20 meters lower than the spire of the Peter and Paul Fortress. In the center of St. Isaac Square was mounted a monument to Nicholas I to the design of Peter Clot. The statue is a unique example of equestrian monument. It is of six meters height and stands on two fulcrums, the horse's hind legs. The Tsar is depicted wearing a uniform and a helmet with an eagle. He was in chief of the lifeguard's horse regiment. Hot relievers illustrate different episodes of Nicholas reigning. The pedestal is decorated with allegoric figures. Hope with a cross and New Testament in her hand wisdom with a mirror, justice with scales, and strength with a shield and spear. The figures have the faces of the Tsar's wife and daughters. The Boyka embankment ends with the Lantern Bridge. In 1973, the White Lantern Bridge was mounted to replace a pedestrian bridge built in 1906. Highly unusual is a suspensious foot bridge called the Post Office Bridge. It was built to the design of the engineer Georg Tretter. It is one of the first suspension chain bridges. The bridge span is pretty large, around 34 meters. A large stretch on the left bank is occupied by Yusupov Palace. Originally built in 1760, it is a remarkable monument on Russian classicism. Its facade is accentuated with a graceful portico with six columns. It was here on the 9th on the 16th December 1916 that Grigory Rasputin was murdered by Prince Felix Yusupov and other monarchists. The origin of the name for the Potsiluev Bridge remains unclear. 
It is believed that the name comes from the Kiss Tavern situated in the nearby house of the merchant Pocelujev. The famous Arch of the New Holland is one of the most impressive constructions in St. Petersburg. It was designed by Chevakinsky and Valand de la Motte and built in the 1770s. In Peter's III, the New Holland Island was a convenient place for shipping and storage of timber. After the Decembrids uprising, a part of the New Holland was made a war prison. At this spot, between the Moika and Niva, the contractor Semyon Krukov dug the Krukov Canal. When the Blagoveshinsky Bridge, now the Leitonon Schmidt Bridge, across the Niva was built, a part of the Krukov Canal was enclosed in a tube and filled with sand. In 1970s, the canal was prolonged up to the Fontanka. At the time, Theatre Square opened to the Krukov Canal. Nowadays, the impressive building of the Mariinsky Theatre, overlooking Theatre Square, cuts it off the canal. The Mariinsky Theatre has witnessed the talents of great Russian and Soviet composers, singers and dancers. At the junction of the Krukov Canal and Grybayedov Canal stands out a graceful four-tiered belfry. It is one of the most picturesque palaces in St. Petersburg. Standing at the junction of the canals, one finds oneself in the middle of an original composition of bridges. Here we can see the largest concentration of bridges in visual field. The Cathedral of St. Nicholas on the Seas was built to replace the parade ground of the Sea Regiment Court. The cathedral is crowned with the five gilded domes. It was made two stored to the project of Sava Chevakinsky. A carved wooden iconostasis remained in the upper church. The Krukov Canal flows into the Fontanka. The canal was thought to be a thoroughfare, but it did not work and the canal was considered to be filled with sand. The 5 km arc of the Krybayadov Canal cuts the central districts of the city. The canal makes its distinctively winding course into the mouth of the Fontanka, where we begin to tell our story. The three-spanned Malakalinkin bridge with granite obelisk lanterns mark the mouth of the canal. Here the downstream of the Fontanka is clearly seen and one can feel the breath of the sea. The pedestrian Kolominsky Bridge remained wooden for a long time. The name of the bridge retains the former name of the large city district. 
the territory within the boundaries outlined with the Moika, Krukov Canal, Fantanka and Priashka was long called Kolomna. The Alachin Bridge has retained its name for about 200 years. The origin of its name is connected with the distorted surname of the shipbuilder Alachanin, whose house was nearby. The five domed Saint Isidor Yurevsky and Nicholas Miracle Worker Church is clearly seen from afar. The temple is adjoined with three stored parish house designed in ancient Russian style, its facade overlooking the canal. The Pikalov Bridge, situated at the junction of the Gribayedov and Krukov canals, is the only of three spanned bridges to remain at the Gribayedov canal. The bridge is a precious monument of architecture and Russian bridge building. The canal was originally named after Catherine the Great, in whose reign its banks were clothed with granite and the embankments were fenced with cast iron railings. The canal was cleared up and deepened. The present name preserves the memory of the Russian writer and diplomat Alexander Gribayedov, who lived for a time in a house on the embankment. Here Gribayedov conceived of his great play Misfortune from Intellect. Narrow embankments with rows of houses make the canal look cozy. The neighborhood is reflected in the image of St. Petersburg created by Russian writers and artists. Further upstream, the canal goes to Theatre Square, where in 1850s lived the famous pianist and composer Mikhail Balakirev. The pedestrian line bridge constructed to the design of Georg Treta in 1825-1826, is situated by the sharp end in the area of Padyachinska Street. It is one of the three survived suspension bridges. Its construction started in 1825 to the design of the engineer Treta. The bridge is hung on metal chains, which are run through cast quadrant hidden in line figures. Nowadays, the bridge is a monument of culture. Its historical name is the Bridge of Four Lions.
the Vosnesensky Bridge and Vosnesensky Prospect were named after the Vosnesensky Church built near the bridge in 18th century and destroyed in 1936. During the siege of Leningrad, the bridge was damaged with a Nazi bomb. The neighborhood calls to mind the St. Petersburg of Gogol and Dostoevsky. The action of crime and punishment, a novel by Dostoevsky, takes place near the canal, in Sinaya Square and the Mishansky streets. Dostoevsky settles Raskolnikov in Stolinoy Side Street and Sonia Marmeladova and the old pawnbroker in tenement houses in the canal embankments. The Kokushkin Bridge connects Kokushkin and Stolyarny side streets. The bridge is named after the merchant Vasily Kokushkin, whose house stood nearby. The bridge can be called the Literature Bridge. In the 8th of 1829, in the house of the merchant Zverkov by the Kokushkin Bridge settled Nikolai Gogol. Here he wrote his immortal short stories, Evenings on a Farm near Dikanka. The cast iron Demidov bridge is decorated with wonderful railings. The bridge is a continuation of Sinai Square. is one of the best examples of Russian bridge building. It is here that revolutionary terrorists of the People's Will Organization made an attempt on Emperor Alexander II's life in 1880. Small pedestrian bridges soaring above the elegant embankments a particular feature of the Grybayedov Canal. At the point where the canal makes its turn, it is spanned by the bank bridge, built by the architect Treta. The chains of the suspension bridge are fixed in the constructions hidden in the figures of antique griffons with golden wings. The bridge was named after the Assignation Bank. Now this building houses the University of Economics and Finance. The junction of the Grybayedov Canal is accentuated with the solemn colonnade of the Kazan Cathedral. In 1710 there was a chapel here. The cathedral has a look on the arched colonnade, with a portico in the middle and a round dome of the Corinth order rising above it. In 1813 the Kazan Cathedral was chosen as the last resting palace of Mikhail Kutuzov, the commander in chief of the Russian forces in the war against Napoleon. In 1837, monuments to Kutuzov and his successor Mikhail Barclay de Tolle were set up in front of the cathedral. At the feet of each statue is a French banner with a broken staff. In the building of the Kazan Cathedral is the Museum of Religion and Atheism. Enemies' banners, keys to fortresses and towns taken in battles, and the staff of the field marshal Davout are kept in the cathedral. 
Opposite to the Kazan Cathedral is the building of the House of Books. The corner tower, topped by a large glass globe, looks very impressive. The building was constructed for the Russian office of the American singer Sewing Machine Company. <laughs>